It's time for Polka Dobo! Adobo! <laughs> I'll play it big. Give them some more of that uh, out of the world stuff. What's up guys, we're Mike and Nelly, two travel vloggers and we're right here in Miami Beach. Actually, we're moving from Miami Beach to a new location. More about that very soon, but today we're finally going to get around to cook... Adobo. Pork adobo, more specifically, yeah. because we've tried chicken adobo, yeah. we've tried banana blossom adobo, we've tried jackfruit adobo, but I can't believe we've never had pork adobo. What? It's insane, that's the most popular adobo. <laughs> so anyway, today we are going to cook pork adobo here and because the pork in the US seems to be more tough than in Asia, we are going to steam the pork for two hours, get it nice and tender. And that's why we're super psyched that today's video sponsor is Brevo. They have this amazing device called the Steam Zone. I mean, look at this, it's beautiful. And we're actually gonna steam the pork in here. We're gonna steam the rice in there. We're gonna get that amazing fluffiness in the rice that I love so much. And I love this thing because we can cook two, we can steam yeah. two different types of uh, food in here without there being cross-contamination of taste and flavor and all that stuff. I'll show you a little bit more about that later on, but right now we need to marinate our exactly. pork to get some nice flavors in there. My beautiful assistant Nelly will help Hello. me out here. <laughs> uh, what I did earlier on today is I actually cubed up the pork in one inch um, pieces. Yeah. So what Nelly's going to do is she's going to mix in some rice vinegar, she's going to put in some soy sauce, a little bit of fish sauce, don't hate on me. I like my fish sauce. <laughs> and we're gonna get some bay leaves in there, a ton of pepper, and we're gonna leave out the garlic for later, and I'll tell you why in a second. This time we're using rice vinegar, go like two fingers uh, broad, sorry, two fingers broad, because last time we used the apple cider vinegar and it was just no bueno, we didn't like it, it was too, um, too high in acidity, yeah. just too much. But rice vinegar is a little bit less intense, still has an amazing flavor, couldn't get coconut vinegar here. That's good. <laughs> so then we got some soy sauce. You can put in a little bit more because we're gonna water it down with oh, water. Yeah. Go, give it more, give it more. Get it in there. Do it. Oh yeah, this seems a lot. Oh yeah. Well, we got a lot of pork here. Then we're going to add the bay leaves now already to get some uh, nice, because bay leaves, the dried bay leaves, they need a little while to give off some flavor, so we can just, uh, just throw them in there. Oh, not yeah. in, in that? No, no, because this is going to go over this right. in any case. Yeah. Yeah, a few splashes of fish sauce in here. Oof! <laughs> yeah, that's fish sauce. Yeah, that's fish sauce. Perfect. And then we'll add some water to this. Ooh, good. Good? That's good. All right. I'm glad we took the rice with Yeah. So now I'm going to pour this over our pork. Oh, look at that. Giving it a nice, nice bath. Almost perfect <laughs> from the measurements. Excellent. Can we just like squeeze my little pork pieces so they're all submerged. Do you want it all submerged in water here? Whoa. Nice. So we're going to set this in the fridge and let it marinate for about an hour before we take out the pork, preserve the juices and pop it to the steamer. So we'll be back in a second. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> We're back and the meat had time to marinate. Let's get this porky goodness out of the fridge here. I forgot early on, I forgot to mention the most important ingredient besides love in a pork adobo <laughs> is the peppercorn, freshly ground peppercorn. So I got a lot of peppercorn in here. What we're going to do now is we're just going to mm. kind of uh, take the pork out of here and place it on our paper towel. Try and drip off the excess juices and place it on here because we want to preserve all the juices as much as possible. Another benefit of steaming the meat is you don't kill off the vitamins and the iron and whatever that's inside the meat. It's just a healthier way of cooking by steaming your food. Also when you're steaming vegetables, the vegetable preserves more of its vitamins. It's still, if you don't steam it too long, it's got a nice crunch to it. Whoops. And this steamer has actually the most efficient uh, type of steam, which is the invisible steam. Um, this thing is so awesome. It's got two zone heating. It's got the rapid heat up. So you turn it on, 30 seconds later, boom, you're ready to steam your food. And I can't wait to see what the results are going to be with our pork belly. 
So what I really liked when we got the steamer is all the accessories that it came with because you essentially have two individual steamer pots. Yeah, in a case like ours this is ideal because we're going to steam the pork in one pot, steam the rice in a second pot. But what you also could do is you take both out and you can steam a whole chicken, a whole fish, like a whole slab of meat in there, a whole slab of pork belly, whatever you want. Yeah. You can just put it in there. In our case today we're going to use one of these nifty little steamer pots. I love how you say nifty. <laughs> it sounds so cute. All right, so I'm gonna take the pork, I'm gonna place it in here. We're gonna just stack the pork in here um, however we like, but we're not gonna try and crowd it too much. There need to be a few like nooks and crannies for the steam to be able to move in between the pieces of pork. There yeah, are a lot of Chinese um, and uh, Oriental pork dishes essentially where you crowd the pork in a enclosed bowl with different kinds of marinades and you actually steam it while it's in its fluid. Um, I was looking at a few dishes when I was researching this recipe. It looks really amazing. I think I'm going to give that a try with the steamer another time. Alright, so as you can see, we have the pork in here. There's still room in between so the steam can move around in there. Um, I'm going to put the lid on here. I'm going to place it into the steamer. I don't think I really even need the lid on top of this. I could just steam it like that. Um, it has two zone steaming, so I can steam just on this side or on this side individually. I can change the temperatures, um, but let's go over to where I actually have electricity and not here and uh, get this thing st steaming. Started? Steaming? Steaming. Oh, so one thing that I really love about the steamer is um, I can steam rice because I don't know about you guys, but it's, rice is one of these things that is super easy to cook, but somehow I manage to mess it up every time. Ask my friends, they know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even describe to you how delicious it was smelling inside the apartment. I agree. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I get so hungry every time I'm cooking. So let's dish it up here, hold the plate. Yep. So we've got the nice and fluffy rice. It was so easy to make this rice in the steam cooker because it's like a, you just turn it on and you don't have to worry about it. It just really becomes nice and fluffy. Depending on the rice that you're cooking, brown rice might take a little bit longer. But uh, white rice goes really fast. Oh, look at this. Oh, it smells amazing. So just to give you, like for those of you who don't know, Filipino cuisine, you basically eat with knife and fork. Spoon and fork. Uh, sp spoon <laughs> and fork, of course. <laughs> So this smells rich, I can smell the pork nicely, the soy yeah. sauce, the pepper, the bay leaves. The sauce is life. Oh my god. Oh, the yeah. pork Give me more is rice. so tender. It just falls apart. I mean that's that's essentially what the steaming does. It just breaks up the pork without making it dry. Oh. 
I think we need to share this recipe. Because this is, you have to cook this. Mm. It's so good. I think this is one of the best this dishes is, that you made This is the, so best, far. the best Filipino dish that I've prepared here in Miami, for sure. Yeah. Oh my god, it's good. And Sada didn't invite friends to taste this today. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was it guys, that concludes uh, the Miami uh, cooking Filipino food in Miami Beach video series because yeah. this is the last day we're spending in this apartment. Um, and um, I would say from Sunday on, like the few next videos we're going to take place in a few different locations. Yes. We're going to travel to London, Prague, shortly to China to the, the Philippines. Then we're going to be in Manila. We're going to be traveling to Boracay. Yeah. And, and then we're going to f travel to the uh, to Indonesia. So cheers to that. Cheers. And also cheers to new adventures. I hope you like this little video series. And um, I think the next few videos are going to be a little bit about adventure and yes. travel related exactly. content. And once we are back to our regular hustle mode uh, we're going to post a few new videos as well if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit the thumbs up if you're new around here hit the subscribe button and let us know in the comments down below which videos you've been enjoying the most yeah. and uh, what so we have a little bit of an idea what we should film next next few videos are going to be very adventurous there will be food but there will be a lot of traveling yeah. involved so it'll be food in new exotic destinations mm -hmm. Thank you again to Breville for sponsoring this video. You'll find all the details to the steam zone we used today in the description down below. I'm going to enjoy the sun for five minutes before I have to start packing <laughs> up. I'll see you guys in the next video from London. Have an amazing day.